Hi everybody, welcome back to Real Wizardry, where we make your life more magical, and it has been a little bit of a time since my last video, hasn't it? I'm going to be showing you in this video what I've been up to, and it's mainly centred around the Magical Man Cave, which, unless you've been sleeping under a rock or you haven't watched this channel before, you'll know is my biggest project to date. So anyway, the machine will tell you whether you're a good wizard or a bad one, and it works just like this. Alexa, weigh my wand. Okay. It's good! Yay! Reset. Thank you. So I've got a whole load of really awesome stuff for you, I think anyway, and before we get into any of that stuff, just do me a favour, click that like button, subscribe and ding that bell, and we'll get on with it right now. So the first thing that I did was a wand weighing machine. Now this is something I've been trying to do for around about four years on and off. And the whole idea is that you take your magic wand, you place it on the little holder thing, you ask Alexa or any kind of smart system to weigh your wand, and it will then tell you whether it's a good wand or a bad one. I had originally thought that I would actually weigh a wand for real, and I bought all the components to actually build like a, a scale, I suppose. Um, but then I thought, well, it's kind of arbitrary, so I may as well randomize it. So I wrote some Arduino script using ChatGPT, which if you don't know what that is, it's an AI system and it's flipping awesome. So have a look at ChatGPT, just Google it and it will blow your mind, trust me. But if you do know what it is, then great. So the whole idea is that I've sculpted a hand, I'm going to stick it onto a stepper motor and it's going to point to either good or bad depending on this randomised script. So it'll tell you whether you're a good or a bad wizard. That's the idea anyway. So I've now done it and it does work. So let's talk you through some of how that was actually done. I started out by specifying to ChatGPT that I want the stepper motor to have a home position, which is up, so pointing up. And then it either goes left or right at random and then it ticks up to a number of five times, which then means because it can flick one way or another, and then it does up to five times, which is an odd number, in total it's an even number, which means that it's a totally random and even distribution of good or bad. So it's, it's real sort of trepidatious there. So I sculpted the hand out of Super Sculpey, I painted it, I mounted it, and then I used the same sorts of techniques that I've used on the walls of the Magical Man Cave to make some wooden planks, make up a box, and feed it all through the wall and all of that sort of stuff as well. So if you want to know more, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, it's a fairly short video today. So thanks very much for watching. I'll see you again next time with some more magical awesomeness. But until next time, as always... Free magical! magical.